Hey everybody, Michael with the Sky's the Limit Aviation Channel. Join me as we take this short full flight from Atlanta to Birmingham in the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800 in SkyTeam livery. Strap in, let's get this video started. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a quick little flight from Atlanta to Birmingham in the 737-800. Um, I've already filed my flight plan with VATSIM, even though we're not going to have any ATC probably until we get into Birmingham, if they're still online. If not, we'll just do without. I'm about ready to run some checklists and then we'll go ahead and push back engine start and taxi to the active, which is going to be 2-6 left today. And we're going to be taking the NASA departure, or NASA 1 departure, although we're not going to fly all the waypoints in that because the flight is just so short. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with the pre-start checklist. Parking brake is set. Throttles are at idle. Fuel flow is cut off. Battery master switch is on. Panel lights on if required. Hydraulic pump switches are on. Landing gear lever is checked down. Flaps up, spoilers retracted, APU start, check, and we'll check to make sure that we're getting some voltage out of the APU. There's APU start and getting some DC voltage from the generator. Fuel quantity checked. PTOT heat de-ice off. Flight controls are free and correct. Passenger signs are off. Let's see, de-ice off for right now transponder is on standby and beacon and anti-collision lights are on and pre-start checklist is complete delta 376 on the ILS for a 26 right and we're going to go ahead and Push back. So parking brake is off.
And we're going to push with our tail to the south. And transponder in mode C. Okay, pushback complete, parking brake is set. And back into the cockpit. Okay, start up checklist. Thrust levers are still at idle. Engine area is clear. And engine start switches to both. Fuel pump switch on. And we're going to start with the engine number two, right engine startup first. Traffic goes to 1970, take up from a 2-7 right traffic. Okay, got a good start. Generator on. Good voltage. Go ahead and shut the APU off at this time. A lot of traffic on Delta 376 on 10 mile final to strike. And go ahead and start engine number one. Startup checklist is complete. lights on for a before taxi checklist nav lights on we got the heading indicator altimeters check standby instruments check radios avionics are set autopilot standby auto throttle is on Flight director on, auto brake to RTO. We'll set that when we get to the runway. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. We're going to go flaps five for takeoff and flight control check. And full left, full right. All the way forward, all the way back. Elevator to the right, elevator to the left. And the four taxi checklist is complete. And we'll go ahead and make a call on Unicom. Atlanta traffic Delta 2199 at Alpha 24 taxiing to 26 left via Foxtrot. Departure to the west. Atlanta traffic. Okay. 
parking brake released. This is going to be a relatively short flight, probably just a little over an hour. I get asked quite a bit if I have a favorite aircraft to fly in flight simulator and hands down it's the 777-200LR. And I like flying the 738 and... Land traffic Spirit Wings 3102 taxiing to runway 27 right via Lima 6 Mike, Mike 18. And I also fly the A350-900 a lot. Uh, traffic goes to 1918, leaving airspace. Uh, See ya. And 757 as well. And we're approaching the approach end of 26 left. And Atlanta traffic, Delta 376, clear of runway 26 right, taking the Victor Loop over to ramp 3. here before taxi checklist 
parking brake set, throttle idle, elevator trim set for takeoff, flaps set at five, spoilers retracted, flight instruments checked, engine instruments check, got our takeoff data, nav equipment check, landing lights on, taxi lights off, strobe lights on, P-TOT and D-ICE as needed, transponder is set, 5147, and before takeoff checklist is complete, Cockpit. Atlanta traffic Delta 2199 departing 26 left departure to the west Atlanta traffic. Let's check. V1 and rotate. Okay. Positive rate of climb, gear up. second on the gear. Atlanta traffic, uh, Spirit Wings 3102, taking off runway 27 right. Atlanta traffic, Delta 2523 is on a 15 mile final for 26 right, Atlanta. the LNAV and the VNAV. And we'll go ahead and bring the flaps up. Okay, climb out checklist, throttle as required, trim for 250 knots, autopilot auto throttle check active. Auto brake off. We're below 10,000, so 250 knots max. ATC is required. And climb out checklist is complete.
check in the ATIS in Birmingham. Looks like runway. Looks like the visual. Six is in use. And they're on information Foxtrot. One nineteen point nine is the tower frequency for Birmingham. We'll go ahead and put that in standby. Set our climb to 1800 feet per minute. Leave the L nav going. And we're only going to go to 18,000 feet because this is a very short flight. And according to the charts, we just want to make sure that when we reach the glide slope for runway 6, um, we're at 2,200 feet at McDen. And we're above 10,000 feet, landing lights off. our climb out speed to 300 knots. back on. So there is no published star for Birmingham. So we're going to get to, as soon as we get to the NASA waypoint, we're going to head southwest to Kiosk and then dip a little further southwest to Oscar Kilo Whiskey. And then it'll be a right turn to 52 degrees for the final into Birmingham. 
and then just make sure we're at 2,800 feet at McDen, and it'll just be a visual down to the runway. Passing through 16,000 feet. Leveling off at one eight zero. Another question I get asked frequently is, do I like doing long-haul flights or the shorter flights? And it's a bit of a mix of both. I don't do short flights very often. This is the first time I've done Birmingham. Uh, usually I do Atlanta to Jacksonville, Atlanta to Omaha, Atlanta to LAX. And before I got introduced to VATSIM, I would do some really long haul flights. Atlanta to Narita on Delta 295 Heavy. And when Delta was still flying into Bangkok, I would do A330 flights between Narita and Bangkok, Thailand and back. So it's a lot of fun. I've been flight simming now for thirty years, close to it. I think two thousand and one was when I first got introduced into flight simming. And I actually fly for an outfit called AirSource Virtual Pilots Union. And that's www.airsource.us. And I fly primarily for Delta. Although when we have special events, I might fly a different airline in livery. And we just recently completed our 20th anniversary round the world event, which is something that I organized with a really close friend of mine who has since passed away, Roy Lukes.
I think we did the first round the world event back in 2005. And like I was just saying, we just completed one back at the beginning of the year. 40 legs. The shortest legs were probably four to 500 nautical miles. The longer legs, anywhere between 15 and 1800 nautical miles. Took us across the eastern part of Canada into Greenland, Iceland, Norway, down through Europe. down into northern Africa and then out west through India, the Himalayas. Then we were down to Australia, New Zealand, hit a bunch of Pacific Islands, and then came back up through Japan, Russia, across the Bering Straits into Alaska, down into the Washington State, Oregon, and then back heading east, back into the upper peninsula of Michigan, which was our start and finish point of the event. less than 20 nautical miles from Kiosk. It'll be a slight left turn to Oscar Kilo Whiskey VOR and we'll start our our top of descent will be in between Kiosk and OKW. Birmingham is still on the air. Sorry for the little pauses there in the sound. I'm accessing some stuff off my other monitor. Flying is definitely more fun when you've got a lot of ATC going. I usually do a lot of flying on Fridays and Saturdays. And on a few of my cross-country trips, I've been able to have full ATC all the way from Atlanta out to Los Angeles. And that brings so much more realism flying and I'm just so appreciative to the VATSIM network for everything these folks do to make flight simming more fun. All of the people who volunteer to be air traffic controllers and stuff on VATSIM, my hat is off to you ladies and gentlemen. You guys do a outstanding job. We've had some pretty decent conversations in route, but it's not too busy. I've had quite a few good laughs between pilots and controllers on the way.
could not ask for a more professional group of people. That's coming up in about 30 miles. Another question I get asked quite a bit is, what do I do when I'm not flight simming? As far as hobbies go, I am an avid aviation photographer. I've been published, and you'll find me around Hartsfield-Jackson, and also you can find me down at Peachtree DeCab, which is KPDK. Also, in addition to making my YouTube videos, I also do some plane spotting videos, though I haven't done any in quite a while. miles, 20 nautical miles from top of descent. I'm going to deviate a little bit from my flight path because this is going to be such a tight turn to final from OKW. I think I'm going to swing it just a little bit further to the southwest. We'll hop on a heading of 240.
which shouldn't add too much extra time to the flight. start down here momentarily. We're about maybe five or six nautical miles from top of descent. Let's go a little bit more do a two three zero heading real quick. And we'll go ahead and start down. our speed will come down to come down to 5,000 for right now so there's no published arrival for Birmingham so in lieu of having air traffic control it's basically pilots discretion So we'll go ahead and descend down to 5,000 feet and then we'll do a quick 180, pick up the Oscar Kilo Whiskey VOR, and then continue on our flight path there. Check the ATIS again. Foxtrot. Still the visual runway six. Six and three six approaches are in use. I'm not flying with weather today, but if I were, the altimeter would be 3028. According to the current METARs, the winds are very light anyways, so it's so the actual real weather is about the same as what we're experiencing in flight here right now anyways, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. And we're gonna go ahead and start a right turn to three two zero. through 12,000 feet. Two five. 
level off at 10,000 feet for right now. Yeah, 10,000 feet, landing lights on. Start another turn. Right to zero three zero. VNAV. some flaps.
coming up on Gufflo. Sight. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot and we're going to hand fly this down the rest of the way. down. Good afternoon, Birmingham Dower, Delta 2199 over Sempo, visual runway 6. Delta 2199, Birmingham Dower, hello, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 6, Delta 2199. Slide slope. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Nice landing. Speed breaks up. And 16 knots. Birmingham Tower, Delta 5150 calling. Delta 5150, Birmingham Tower, hello. 
Hello, sir. Uh, I believe ground's closed now, is that correct? Affirmative. Okay, I just spoke to him. I had to respawn back in. Uh, this is uh, Delta 5150 of a IFR flight plan from uh, Birmingham to Dustin Fort Walton Beach Airport and uh, have information from Foxtrot. And Delta 5150, you are cleared to. Uh, actually, your cruising altitude is incorrect for direction of flight. I can offer you flight level uh, 200 or 220. Uh, two zero zero is fine. I can change the flight plan if you'd like. And Delta 5150, no worries at all. I can amend it very easily. You are cleared to Walton Beach Airport via the Birmingham A departure. Radar vectors, Gump. Then direct, maintain 4000. Expect flight level 2001 zero minutes after departure. Departure is currently off line. clock 3130. Cleared out of Birmingham via the uh, Birmingham 8 departure. Vectors to Gump, 4,000. Departures uh, offline, I believe, and um, squawking 3130 in the box for Delta 5150. Delta 5150, read back is correct. Advise head of a taxi, runway 6 for departure. Well, advise, expect runway 6 for departure, uh, Delta 5150. Birmingham Tower, Delta 5150 is ready for the taxi information. Delta 5150, runway 6, taxi by Alpha. Runway 6 by Alpha for Delta 5150. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take any one of these open gates, I suppose. And strobes off. Welcome to Birmingham. Jet bridge engaged. Wait for ground power to get hooked up. Lights off, nav stays on. And we'll go ahead and kill power, engine one. And kill power to engine two. Not the most perfect flight, but not too bad. And got the jet bridge hooked up, and that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Support the channel definitely by subscribing. And hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to get more videos out there ready for you. And this is Michael with the Sky's Limit Aviation Channel wishing you all a great afternoon and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. So long, everybody.